In many ways, 2011 has been an important year for the Indian Army. Test beds for its transformation process have been put in motion and two major exercises along the Western Front have actually tested those concepts. Similarly, India's defences against China have been beefed up and have been put on fast track. In other ways, there have been problems like the procurement procedure for artillery, for other issues and other platforms uh, that the Indian Army needs have been painfully slow. And to top it all, the Indian Army chief seems to be in a perpetual battle with the Ministry of Defence over his age issue, especially in the run-up to the Army Day, which falls on January 15th. How does the Indian Army cope with these challenges, which are both on the technology front, on the transformation process, as well as a personal issue of the Chief with the Defence Ministry? To answer all those questions, we have with us the Chief of Army Staff, General V.K. Singh. General Singh, thank you for your time thank and uh, deciding to answer all the questions that we have. And uh, I'm uh, sorry to say that I have to start with uh, the raging controversy which is there about your age and uh, the Defence Ministry's stand that uh, they will not accept uh, what you've been uh, asking for the, the correct date to be accepted. What is your stand? Uh, I think the issue is being played around too much. There's no controversy between the Ministry of Defence and me. There is no fight between the Ministry of Defence and me. There are perceptional differences and it's a totally a personal issue and it is only something which is concerning me and not the rest of the army. So I would like to assure you mm -hmm. that as far as I'm concerned, it is not transcending in any way into the army. We are as prepared as good as we were yesterday or as well prepared as we'll be tomorrow. That's right, sir. But in the public perception, as you have seen, uh, the, the battle uh, is seem to be joined by both sides. I mean, you and uh, the Defence Ministry. How do you dispel this perception? Because uh, there is this uh, fact that the papers have been given out in RTI reply. Uh, they are saying that your date of birth uh, is what they are maintaining and uh, your date of birth, uh, you have said uh, and uh, said that this is 10th May 1951. So uh, why don't you just clarify a little bit, what is the, uh, the problem there? See, a lot of papers are being banded about, a lot of uh, uh, people are trying to prove their point. That is not the issue at all. It is, it is not something for personal gains, so far as I am concerned. It was an issue concerning my integrity and that is where I have put it and pegged it. And that is where, so far as I am concerned, the matter ends. So if your integrity and your honour is protected and given to you the due that you are asking for, your integrity and your honour, would you accept the decision of the government? Well, I have I've, I've, I've already said that so far as I am concerned, there is a totally a personal issue. It is an issue which is to be decided by whosoever wants to decide and me personally, it doesn't concern anything else. And you are saying that it will not transcend any other decision making? It is not uh, in any way affecting either my decisions or that of people under my command. And what about the ministry's decisions vis-a-vis -vis the army? I don't think there is, uh, I don't find any effect out there and uh, I'm quite sure we have a, a team there as well as the minister who goes beyond all this. Right. So let me just move away from this and come back to the professional matters in the in the military, or maybe we'll talk about it a little later. Uh, you have had uh, sort of initiated the process of transformation in the Indian Army. You had done that study yourself under your leadership, and now you are uh, trying to implement it. How far have you come in that process? See, our aim was to make the army more agile, more lethal, more responsive, networked and an army that is able to meet with the future threats. To that extent, certain things were laid down. One of the things that we looked at was restructuring of some of our organizations into groupings that will take place in battle. Right. So we have validated these. Hmm. Certain changes have come about because of our validation and test bedding. These are being put into effect. We also looked at 
थेटराइजेशन ऑफ आर कॉम्बैट एंड कॉम्बैट सपोर्ट एज वेल एज लॉजिस्टिक सपोर्ट एलिमेंट्स दिस द टेस्ट बेडिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंड इट विल कम इन टू इफेक्ट राइट सर्टन थिंग्स आउट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज इट कंसर्नस रजिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच हैव बिन कैरिंग ऑन फॉर ईयर्स विल टेक अ लिटल टाइम टिल मेंटली पीपल गेट प्रिपेयर टू हैंडल दो we also had a issue of ensuring that our headquarters become more responsive because over a period of time in old headquarters we kept adding people it added on to the chains of decision making ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com/apps